Hello, Senator Burr. My name is Cassie Wigman. I am a student at Apex High School in Apex, North Carolina, and like millions of Americans, I believe that it is time for Congress to implement a comprehensive genocide prevention strategy. And as you will see, America's foremost foreign policy experts on both sides of the political aisle agree that such a policy would be in our natural, national interest for both humanitarian and practical reasons. My name is Chesney Kluwert, and I pledge to protect. Hi, my name is Danielle, and I'm from Mooresville, North Carolina, and I would like to say please work on the implement of recommendations of the Genocide Prevention Task Force. My name is Megan Weber, and I care about the people suffering from genocide. Hi, I'm Jessica Swearingen of Mooresville, North Carolina, and I urge you to start the implementation of the Genocide Prevention Task Force recommendation. Hi, my name is Rachel Wilbur. Um, my great-grandmother was part of the Holocaust, and so this is something really personal and close to me. Abaraje aratubwira ati bana banjye tugiye gupfa ati ubwo birarangiye nyine bagiye kudutemagura ariko twasize abantu barimo kuboroga abandi bahiye abacitse amaguru baratemye bararuha batera magranade bararuha bashyira mu bishyitsi na mama tera na za essence baratwika after the holocaust we said never again did we really mean it? Genocide is one of the most difficult foreign policy challenges for the last hundred years. And we've almost uniformly failed to confront it. I think it's also important to look at the places where there are mass atrocity conflicts going on, not just what's technically been called genocide. The conflicts that are going on are not unknown. It's what we're going to do about it. The Genocide Prevention Task Force brought together some of the major policy actors from the last few administrations to produce a set of specific policy recommendations that would say, this is a priority. We're going to organize ourselves to make sure that never again is a real commitment of the U.S. government. The Genocide Prevention Task Force found that genocide is preventable. The past U.S. government responses to threats of genocide were almost entirely ad hoc. There was a lack of a structure in place to raise these issues to senior decision makers and prompt action on them on a timely basis. We've seen our entire system devoted to dealing with a conflict once it's already started. Far easier, less bloody, less expensive to try and intercede when you see the roots of these conflicts cut things off before the violence really begins. One of the most important shifts recommended by this report is really a shift of mindset. When we act early, we save lives and we save money. Preventing genocide is not only something we should do for humanitarian reasons or for moral reasons, but that it's actually in the U.S. national interest to do so. When we see genocide take place, it fuels instability in corrupt places where we see other kinds of problems that threaten our interests. The American people actually do care about preventing genocide. There's a growing sense of people of conscience that we're not going to let this continue. We're well aware that Congress cares about this, but they also have to have the tools to do something about it. The GPTF recommendations are giving our leaders the tools to be able to succeed. This time when we say, never again, it's a pledge to ourselves that we are going to proactively do what we can to take that pledge seriously. If these recommendations were put into law, there's no question that we'd have a better chance at saving lives. When basic human rights are violated, it concerns us all. And when we have the ability to protect them, we have a responsibility to do so.
As you can see, we believe it is no longer acceptable to wait until after atrocities to occur to take action on them. I urge you to support the full and immediate implementation of the recommendations of the Genocide Prevention Task Force. Thank you for your time and consideration.